Welcome to In Focus. My name is Rob Miller, and today I'm here with Brian Williams of Trimble to discuss some very exciting news in laser scanning. Brian, thanks for being here with us. Rob, it's a pleasure to be here. So you've been in scanning for a number of years, and I'm sure you've seen a lot change throughout that time. So if you would, take us a little bit through what you've seen from an evolution standpoint in your time in the industry. Yeah, definitely, Rob. So I've been involved in scanning for around about 14 years now. So over that time frame, a lot of things have changed. Uh, new technologies of, uh, from a scanning point of view, uh, field operations wise, we've gone from collecting data at 70 points per second to today with uh, the Trimble TX8, you can do a million points per second. So you can capture a lot of data in a very small amount of time. The big part of that is now we have more data, we need to be able to manage that data. So in the, in the beginning, there weren't really specific uh, point cloud softwares uh, to be able to manage all that data. So you had to have uh, large desktop machines to be able to manage it. And the processes were a little clunky to get to your end deliverable. Today we have software that can process the data in very short periods of time. And you can do it on your standard laptop essentially to be able to get strong deliverables including intelligent BIM models as well. Okay, so you touched on both hardware and software, and that's what yeah. you're here to talk about. So since we have the scanner right here, why don't we start yeah. with this? Tell us a little about, about this scanner. Yeah, so this is the Trimble TX8. It's actually been out for around about two years now. Um, uh, it's developed within Trimble, but we're bringing it new into the construction market. There's some unique technologies that it's going to bring for construction, a lot of consistency with the data capture and also reduce some of the, the field time in, in capturing that data. So it's using uh, a technology called uh, Trimble Lightning uh, technology, which is a high speed time of flight uh, laser to be able to capture the data with. Okay, so can you give us a comparison maybe between this and another Trimble scanner as to yeah. how much faster am I capturing data? And obviously I'm getting more data, but how much faster am I doing it? Yeah, definitely. So example of Trimble TX5, it's a phase-based technology, and uh, if we were to go out there and collect the same amount of data, uh, say from a three-minute scan with the Trimble TX8, to do that with the TX5 would probably take us somewhere between two to two and a half hours to get the same quality and the same amount of data. That's a big difference in time. It's a, it's a massive difference. Okay, so we've got more data in faster time. Um, what about indoor versus outdoor? Because I know some yeah. scanners and technologies work better in certain conditions. Exactly, so you have some limitations. Uh, I mentioned before the TX5 is a phase-based technology. In the outdoor environment, is not as strong. You have some inherent uh, limitations to the technology. With the Trimble Lightning technology, allows us to get that consistency, consistency both indoors and outdoors with, by, by using this technology that we have today. Okay, so obviously when I'm indoors, I tend to be shorter ranges in yep. general, but when I get outdoors, I might be dealing with longer ranges. What, okay. Tell us a little bit about the range on the TX-8. Yeah, the TX-8 uh, essentially operates in, uh, I would say, a standard mode, which will give you data collection, everything out to about 120 meters. If I go to an extended range mode, say maybe I'm in an outdoor application on a uh, more of a greenfield site, I can get out to a range of about 340 meters. I have longer range, yep. I'm capturing more data, and I'm doing it faster. Yep. So now I have all this data, <laughs> now I need to do something with it, right? So let's take a shift from the hardware to the software yep. and tell us a little bit about this new product that you guys are just announcing here, Trimble Edgewise, correct? That's right. So uh, Trimble Edgewise is uh, coming through a partnership with a company called ClearEdge 3D. But it's a specific version of the software uh, that has been built for Trimble. What this allows us to present is a, a more unified workflow for the customer, taking 3D um, point cloud data and getting out uh, intelligently uh, constructed models out of the point cloud. Okay, so intelligent models, that means I have to have some attribute information, yeah, right? Exactly. So how do I get that, that attribute tied to what I'm about to model? Exactly, so built into the software are some industry standard tables 
that allow you to then, when you model uh, different pieces of the point cloud, to be able to attach that industry standard to the actual modeled entity. And uh, in the past, that wasn't the case. It was just a, a surface model that then basically had to remodel once you got it into your design software. So uh, Trimble Edgewise automates that process for us. Okay, so now I'm going to get to a model, which is inevitably what everybody wants to get from. A point cloud, at some point, they want to be at a model. So how does Trimble Edgewise, obviously the attributes is one piece of it, but how else does it help me get to that model? Yeah, so in the past, I would say modeling uh, was an erroneous task. It would take many, many hours to create the 3D model. Trimble Edgewise automates that process. So if I want to extract, for instance, pipe runs, I can just ask the software, I just say extract this from the point cloud and it will extract up to around about 90% of the pipes it can see in the environment. And it will miss parts where you have gaps in the point cloud data, but you have tools to be able to connect those together and, and fill out the structure. But it will do in a very short period of time, extract these things automatically for us. Okay, so now I have this model, right? I need to get that into something else, right? I'm a contractor, I'm working in other design applications. How do we get that data from Edgewise into some of the other applications that are out there? Yeah, this is an important part because we want to take that now what we have is a highly attributed bin model. How do I keep that in as part of the process? So I can now export that into some design software. It keeps that attribute information, which is important because I need to know what's existing in the structure and what do I need to redesign. So I can ex export that information out to design software such as AutoCAD and Revit, but also into other software such as SketchUp, um, Tecla Structures, we get into Bentley for instance, or if we're managing the process and looking at costing and scheduling, we could also get into Vico Office as well. So we can see, I'm sure the people watching can see a huge revolution happening just in the last couple of years and even just in today and what you've discussed and what Trimble is bringing to the building construction market. So I think uh, the big step here is getting from capturing consistent data in the field and moving to intelligent model, we've streamlined that process with, with these releases. Well, Brian, I want to thank you for taking the time to join us. It's been good having you here and really appreciate you talking to us about the exciting new entries into laser scanning from Trimble. Great. Thanks, Rob. It's been great being here. If you'd like to learn more about laser scanning, contact your local Building Point representative and be sure to connect with us on LinkedIn, YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. From all of us here at Building Point, thanks for watching.